Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Jim Helwig. I uh, have been with the Perry Foundation since the beginning, most often working with the UPortal project. And I currently work at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. And uh, I am introducing uh, Yas uh, Yasin Asasan, who, who will be um, speaking about the uh, journey of a learning experience, removing barriers, using free and open source approaches for digital transformation. We uh, thank you, Jim. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my presentation. My name is Yasin Azarstan, and I am going to share the value of open source in our digital transformation journey. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers of, the, of this meeting, especially Patrick Mason, who encouraged me to share our story. I appreciate his flexibility in allowing me to be a part of this meeting. Uh, I'm from Turkey. I'm a faculty at Yashar University, and uh, also I'm a director of Open and Distance Learning at uh, Yashar University. Um, so let me uh, first give you a brief overview, a brief information about our university. Yashar University is a foundation university in Izmir, Turkey. Uh, Izmir is the third biggest city of Turkey. It is on the west side of Anatolia, near the Mediterranean Sea and our university is located in the center of this city. Uh, the number of students in our university is approximately 7,000 and uh, our university offers 66 uh, degree programs at undergraduate and uh, postgraduate level. You can easily get more detailed information on our website. Uh, the world we live uh, is changing uh, at a fast pace, and what we teach, how we teach, is also evolving rapidly. In recent years, universities have been experiencing rapid impactful changes, which are influenced by technological advancements and digitalization. Yashar University established a research and application center for open and distance learning at the beginning of 2015. This center improves the open uh, and distance learning settings, enrich the learning opportunities with educational technologies, executes and supports designing, administering, assessing procedures of learning environment and contents. We prefer flexible, self-paced, mostly video-based and interactive solutions. We describe this process as a journey of learning experience, which is about leveraging, leveraging the use of emerging technologies. Uh, which we aim at improving operational and management efficiency for sustainable digital transformation. Through a digitalization of the learning experience, both instructors and the students are able to improve their skills to create a more engaging and effective education process. Education's evolution requires a shift in administrative and educational technologies to support the new evolving ways of teaching. The powerful change in socioeconomic education systems change especially in higher education, such as the education standard quality, decentralization, virtual and independent learning. We need to identify strategic technologies and learning trends to meet the needs of today's learners, faculties and staff. For integrating digital transformation capabilities, universities leverage their delivering capabilities, shaping their learning and development, delivery and continuous improvement mechanisms. Virtual learning has established powerful informal networks. These are used by students uh, to share information and facilitate their connection. Virtual learning becomes an influencing process uh, to facilitate collaborative sharing. So virtual educations have increasingly challenged to decentralize our education and educational resources. Thinking about the learning environment in our university, uh, at the end of the each semester, we ask all our stakeholders, do these solutions uh, support innovative teaching and learning? And indirectly, we assess the value of open source using their perceptions. So it is useful in guiding us improvements of learning environments and strategies for removing the barriers using the free and open source approaches 
for our digital transformation. Uh, adapting uh, effective decentralization of uh, education requires the universities to develop a specific roles to support the process of decentralization. So we have a seven uh, experts uh, in our uh, research center. Four of them is responsible for the production of contents uh, and two of them uh, is on the technological uh, technology development side and one of them provides support to our learners and faculties. And depending on our projects, uh, some experts may be involved in involved, uh, involved this team. So uh, we have a capability to develop our own learning platforms and learning materials. So uh, we use the instructional strategy of, uh, of uh, learning centers and activity base. Our learning materials are delivered via the web with the combination of uh, print based audiovisual interactive and immersive learning solutions. We have seven offices which are management and planning, content development, visual design and production, technology development, support, evaluation and assessment. As you see, we have a video production studio and production equipments and softwares. Uh, these facilities support us uh, for the production of interactive, media, uh, interactive multimedia content. We also produce regular television and radio programs in multiple languages and give uh, Yashar University students uh, the opportunity for hands-on experience with these equipment and solutions. Universities requires a combination of technical and uh, cultural change. Guiding the transition to the digital culture is a challenge. Digital transformation strategy not only modified the educational delivery models of universities, but also has redefined students, educators, and researchers. The impactful, the radical uh, change in the macro environment accelerate universities to shape or restructure the process of building advantages using digitalization. The introduction of uh, open source technologies has increased the attractiveness of virtual learning. It radically has reduced the fixed cost of investing in, investing in virtual technologies to stimulate or leverage the virtual learning mechanism. Open source softwares provide universities with a plant of flexibility. This means that the university will be able to alter the code according to their needs and wants. So impact of open source in higher education for the past few decades has been undeniable because as you know, it's cost effective. Uh, open source provides the opportunity for faster, more reliable innovation, which allows the business to scale our infrastructure. It's enabling, uh, it's enabling the developers to work with a conjunction with the lastest technologies, in turn accelerate the rate uh, at which they can be adapted internally. We are getting the lastest innovation because our developers are freely exchanging ideas in the open source community. Being a part of that and contributing to code to open source projects give our developers a chance, help to shape their entire technological future. As you see, our platforms are structured as an ecosystem to allow all types of content and functions to work together and multiple parties to connect and interact. Inter interact. We are uh, one of the few universities in Turkey that accommodate uh, a digital learning ecosystem, which we think it's an important part of digital transformation in higher education. We choose to use open source systems due to their collaborative efforts and low cost when developing our learning environments. We prefer open source solutions get and customize these solutions for our needs. We prefer not to spend our time reinventing the wheels that the open source community has already perfected. We work on unsolved challenges, the types of challenges that are unique to and add value to our organization's mission. The open source provides uh, three advantages to us. First one is that we have the opportunity to tap the knowledge of the world's best developers, not just those one uh, on one organization's payroll. 
Uh, secondly, the number of potentially contributing developers, uh, the number of poten pot potential uh, contributing developers and uh, thus the potential knowledge pool is orders of magnitude larger. And finally, open source get adapted to, to a variety of use cases, not just the one the publisher original, or originally intended. Surfacing bugs and edge cases more rapidly than traditional processes. So open source projects tend to be a more modular uh, result, resulting in a uh, greater flexibility and lower customization cost in the long run. Well, I would like to show uh, where we are right now. And this is the classification of Alto University from Finland. So they group uh, universities based on the digital services they provide. Uh, we serve uh, the most of we serve uh, most of these services they mentioned using our open source uh, solutions. As you see, we are in the uh, forerunner right now. And during the pandemic, uh, the traditional learning process of universities was frozen, as you know. According to the result of uh, research conducted by University Assessment and Research Laboratory uh, on 42,000 students uh, from 200 universities across Turkey. Yashar University ranked the third best university in managing distance education process using these open source solutions. For the next five years, we will focus on learning experience design neural learning issues and uh, immersive learning. We plan some projects and design research about these subjects. So we enjoy creating our own projects on open source infrastructures and using available open source solutions. Give our developers the flexibility and freedom of these experience, having the ability, of, uh, ability to interact with these communities. And uh, open source is as much as a social moment as a technical one. And many open source practices are the exact opposite of traditional development practices. Many open source projects begin with an idea or new way of solving a common problem that is shareable with wider community for everyone's benefit. By combining and argumented Augmenting the parallel or related to efforts, open source makes a society more efficient at producing higher quality. Open source is a good investment in the future. It represents a way of life. An open source community celebrates and supports the idea that transparency, giving back to the community, sharing and collaborating lead to developing better world. Whatever you Whatever your reason, it is clear, open source is the future. Uh, thanks for your listening. Uh, if you have any questions, I would be pleased to answer them. Thank you, Yasin. Thank you, Jim. Um, again, please uh, uh, feel free to ask your questions in chat. Um, I have a uh, couple of questions for you, Yasin. Um, so, have you worked with other universities in Turkey to help them um, start to leverage open source as well? Because I'm, I'm thinking that you are probably at the forefront. You're the farthest along in Turkey. Are, have other universities been engaged and to try to start their own? Yeah, we have a, a small community in Turkey, uh, which we are using Sakai, uh, most of the universities uh, using Sakai in our region. We uh, have some organiz organizations uh, to develop and uh, share our experience. Uh, but mostly in Turkey, uh, most of the universities prefer to use model as a solution, uh, but it's also open source, you know. Uh, because of the Java issues, uh, the coding uh, part of uh, this, uh, Java not preferred in Turkey as much as uh, other uh, coding uh, 
uh, other codings. Uh, because of that, uh, we have uh, to encourage other universities uh, with the help of this community. Uh, and this community also helps to localization of uh, Sakai and the other uh, open source solutions that Opera uh, supports, uh, give the localization uh, of this platform uh, for Turkey, for Turkish language. Francois, thank you. Uh, Francois asks, what was the process and timelines for adding a new open source tool into your ecosystem? Uh, as you see, we, we are a research center, so we start with uh, with our analysis uh, from faculty or students uh, based on their needs. Uh, we decide the tools, uh, and then uh, we test these tools uh, in our uh, uh, in in our server farm. Uh, we define a project for this, and then our technical teams. Uh, Get ready these technical uh, get uh, this technical um, infrastructure, and then uh, with a small community we test these softwares, and then if it is available, uh, if it's okay for us, we publish these tools or these uh, softwares to our uh, learners and faculties. It approximately takes uh, three months to decide and to publish it. What is the uh, latest tool that you are uh, looking at adding? Uh, right now, uh, we are uh, focusing on the uh, OpenCast uh, to embedding on Sakai platform. Uh, we are uh, normally, we, we prefer, at the beginning, uh, we prefer Kaltura for video solutions. But nowadays, uh, we plan to move uh, OpenCast. We are testing right now. Uh, if it is uh, uh, available, we will plan to move it uh, for the next semester using OpenCast. Thank you, Francis. So um, you've talked and in your uh, presentation in the um, diagrams, uh, you talked a lot about the open source projects that you are incorporating and using at uh, the university. Are there um, projects that you have that your developers have started up? Like, ha have they seen a need um, for something and they're writing software for it and creating a new open source project? Or are then, they? Uh, we are not uh, creating as, uh, any new open source project, uh, but depends on uh, our needs we have to change uh, we have to integrate uh, new solutions to our platforms such as uh, you know the student affair part is different uh, because of the cultural issues and because of the technical uh, and the bureaucratic issues in turkey so we have to change some of the tools uh, or uh, some of the screens we have to redesign uh, these parts of uh, learning environments. So well, most mostly we have uh, done the integration issues, customizations and uh, localizations part. Uh, but uh, there is a, a tool, uh, as you see in the screen, uh, for the certification and testing. Oh, uh, you know, uh, when we start Sakai, uh, don't have any certification tool, so we have to uh, develop our certification tool based on our rules. So, most probably next semester we will move the certification part of Sakai, but uh, this is 
uh, this will be a good example for us. Uh, if we need, if there is any need, so we start, we have to develop a project for this. I know in the, um, so I work, uh, I've worked primarily with the uPortal project and that um, we've seen when the um, French universities started to leverage uPortal a lot, they started to um, contribute back to the uPortal project, especially, you know, some um, some fixes or enhancements that helped with internationalization. You know, they they like you know they thought for this to work in France, we need to customize it and extend it. And some of that has been rolled back into the core uPortal project. Um, have any of your customizations? Um, have you had the opportunity to share those back with the different projects and saying, hey, here's a um, a fix or here's an enhancement that others might be able to use as well? Uh, we have done two of them because of the localization part. Uh, there are some special Turkish characters uh, that we use. Uh, so we have a problem with this. Uh, as far as I remember, 2014, uh, we have uh, applied for this. How to how can we solve these uh, character problems? So the community help us and uh, give an opportunity to uh, join uh, this uh, process. And the second one is the date issue. You know, uh, you use the dates for months, months and uh, dates. Uh, year year format, but in Turkey we use dates, month month, year format. Uh, especially in the uh, assessment part, test and quizzes, uh, it will be a problem for us uh, because most of our faculties uh, confuse about the date issues. Uh, so uh, also, as far as I remember, the uh, Spanish guys also have the same problem. So. With the help of them, uh, we also solve this problem. Thank you, thank you for your guidance, and uh, I appreciate your help. Uh, and also, I would like to thank again Patrick. Uh, he's right now here uh, because he he encouraged me uh, to share our study. Uh, Patrick, I appreciate your flexibility in allowing me to be a part of this. Uh, thank you again.